welcome to episode 422 of Prog Reviews today. You haven't read the title in the description. I'm talking about, oops, uh, Ian McDonald's Driver's Eyes. Um, yeah, this was released oh, back in 1999. 1999, I remember it well. I remember when it came out. Oh, God. It's a bit like yesterday's one. I remember when it came out. Um, but yeah, this is very different uh, to. I sort of could, could better explain. I forgot. I forgot to explain. We're doing this kind of weird. Uh, King Crimson um, alumni type thing we we're looking at their solo albums it happened by accident I thought I might as well um, carry on with it it's something to do isn't it gets me to talk about some albums you might not necessarily have um, picked up but yeah this one's called Driver's Eyes by Ian McDonald Ian McDonald you know Ian McDonald who's in the very first incarnation of King Crimson uh, in the Court of the Crimson King and appeared also on oh, on red before Fripp uh, broke up the band, and um, it's also in Foreigner, and appeared on Steve Hackett's albums in the late nineties. Uh, Sounds about right. Anyway, Ian McDonald. Yeah, this is very different from Trey Gun. <laughs> very different. This is we're in very very safe, um, very safe. M O R. Middle of the road, AOR, adult orientated rock territory. Um, it begins with Overture, which is an instrumental piece, which is nice enough, but it sounds, it always sounds to me, even though there are, I think there are strings and that, it sounds very boxy, like it was recorded in Ian McDonald's um, closet or sock drawer or something. It's, um, yeah, it sounds very, I don't know, something boxy about it. Um, yeah, and so uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of um, shows you what the album's going to be about, really. Well, it's an overture; it would do, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it goes into um, a track in your hands, which again, it's you know, it's fairly standard standard fare. I'm, I'm finding it hard to talk about this. Mind you, You Are Part of Me uh, features vocals by John Waite and a guitar by a certain Steve Hackett. So that's something for you to look out for. But it's all rather, rather boring. And so is Saks Fifth Avenue, which is another instrumental. And it, it goes on a bit. And it sounds like something that should be played at um, in a department store or in a lift somewhere. It's just really fucking boring uh, forever and ever forever and ever features John Wetton on the old vocals which is nice he lifts the track he gives the track some character again rather characterless music he, he's the only good thing about it um, Saturday Night in Tokyo is another uh, High Wai is another instrumental which is really awful um, straight back to you it's a bit Atlantic rock got Lou Graham Doing the vocals and Steve Hackett again on 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 the on the uh, on 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 the guitar on doing the guitar solo, uh, but it's by now you'd have gathered this isn't the album for me. It might be the album for you if you like very bland, safe, you know M O R type music. Very 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 boring and bland and brought up. <sighs> You get the drift, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> this is followed. <laughs> oh, this is followed by "If I Was," which again is just. <sighs> then there's a track called "Demonwand," which also features the drums and vocals of Michael Giles. Yeah, but it ain't enough to save it. "Let There Be Light" um, brings the ha album to a close, and it's 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 probably the biggest, boldest. A track on the album uh and yeah i quite i mean I, yeah, not that i liked it but i thought it was kind of um yeah it had that kind of crimson feel to it in that it had the big big sound uh, this was the um, covered covered by um the schizoid band i believe i'm sure i did a, i'm sure i heard them do a version of this when i saw them live um so it's probably where where why i'm i'm not too upset by it, but if this version features uh, Gary Brooker on on the vocals, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, 
it's, it is what it is. In the old album, it is what it is. You've got to like a certain type of music. And it's, oh, anyone wearing headphones, I'm ever so sorry for popping your ears. I'll fix that in post. Don't worry. You've got to um, you've got to like this kind of music. It's, it is just it's not for me. Boring. Boring. Very accomplished. Very nice in places, but utterly dull. Utterly dull. And I thought that when I first heard it, and I played it this morning, and I felt exactly the same way about it. I thought it was absolutely dry. Dry as arseholes. It was just... <sighs> I've got nothing more to say about it. That's it. Uh, so yeah, you might want to avoid this one. Unless you like that kind of rock music. I'm sure you Americans will love it. Lap it up. It's the sort of thing you hear on the radio. You know? You know who remembers the radio? Before Spotify came along. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. It's probably it's probably been long de deleted. It was on, I think it was originally released on Camino Records by Hackett himself. I think that's where I got it from. Of course, Hackett doesn't own that now because of the divorce. But who knows? It's probably... It's out there somewhere. I'm sure you get a second-hand version of it if you like that kind of thing. In terms of a rating, I'm going to give this two Demimons out of five. That's two Demimons out of five. Whilst it's accomplished and there's some great musicians on it, it is just, I don't know, characterless blob of music. It's just, it's everything I completely... Not despise, but don't like about music. It's safe and dull. The melodies are hardly memorable. And it's a shame, because it betrays the talent that's involved. But yeah, like I say, um, John Wetton's probably... He was the highlight for me. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Only one more thing to say. And that's... Uh, don't forget to subscribe and social media, blah, blah, blah. But more importantly... You've got to remember to prog on.